Okay, this is uh, This War of Mine. Uh, I've owned this game since I think uh, the Christmas sales on Steam. I haven't played it that much, but I noticed it was in a daily deal and in the Steam summer sale. Uh, it will be in the daily deal until tomorrow at 6 o'clock. So I thought I would uh, get it out and uh, and try it again. I read I read some a guide to uh, help me get on with it a bit better. So I'll just go through the uh, you know the salient points of, of the gameplay and, uh, and and show you what it's about. So we'll go for another try. Let's see what we've got. So you can choose. Um, the starting characters. I did. I did these three before, and uh, Marco, I, I, I quit out of the game as uh, Marco got taken out by a sniper. So let's do this one. Yes, I'm sure. So the scenario is: uh, you are, you are a group of ordinary people trapped in a war zone uh, and this is a game that has a purpose really or a point to it and the point is you know there are a lot of video games that are about war or set during wars and uh, generally you're a soldier and you do you know quite exciting and fun stuff and, and it's all quite nice and exciting and fun this is more a depiction of what war is really like. Okay, so here's the background. Bruno had a television cooking show. Catchy was a reporter. Pavley was a football star. And they've hung together. You see, Catcher is slightly sick. Has bargaining skills. So we're in a house. It's our base of operations. And what we need to do, Bruno the cook, is uh, is investigate all the all the um, all the things basically. What we need is supplies. Above all else, what can he do? Um, let's break that door down. What else can we investigate? So we've had a load of stuff. Let's see if we can do some crafting. Because what we want, first of all, is a bed. Can we make a bed? Yes, we can. Let's make a bed there. What are you doing? Oh, grab all. Now what else can we craft? Uh, okay, crude stove. Moonshine still. Metal workshop. So, we can make that. Simple heater, that looks like a good thing to make. 
And where did I put my bed? is this lady up to? So these piles of rubble, we can clear them away, but uh, you can end up getting injured clearing rubble away. Let's see, maybe she can make something else as well, since she's slightly sick. So this, this is basically how you spend the, the daytime, you see it's just coming up to midday. We've not got a lot of food at the minute. So I want to make a metal workshop to make tools. Let's place that next to the other one. Oh no, keep manufacturing the lady. He can go and break down that door. This bloke can go and have a rest. Because I want to do is send Pavel, eh? Pavel, send him scavenging at night. Oh, no time to land. Okay then, well, in that case, start digging this rubble out. No. No. So this is where the control system is uh, right. Can I make a shovel? Crowbar. I need some more gear to make a shovel. Okay. So let's start her off on um ah. Can we all work on this together? No. Let's see if we can go up there. There we go. So the afternoon is uh, fast approaching. We will need to manufacture some food at some point. Not food, fuel. Alright, so let's set him to a... Uh, let's set her since he's wandering around. So as you can see, the game is um, is quite slow paced at this point. Anyway, you just you're just trying to um, you're just trying to. Um, he's had enough sleep. Let's see if she wants to rest him. She does want to have a rest. <laughs> Alright, so how do we get to the night? So what we're going to do is send Pavel scavenging. Since I, she had a little bit of sleep there, we're going to leave her guarding and Bruno will sleep tonight. So let's see. So there's these different places we can uh, go and investigate. 
some of them are like this one here you you basically you're gonna have to steal stuff other places uh, ruin villain might have to steal gas station looks like a promising promising place lots of food some meds so we've not got any food at the minute so let's do the gas station let's not take anything with us because we've not really got anything useful at the minute uh, we can only scavenge what we can carry so when I did the other playthrough the guy that, that got shot by the sniper he had a backpack he carried 15 15 things which made him much better at scavenging ooh what we found I don't know what it is ooh gunpowder so like the house there's there's a risk reward thing here so we can dig out we can dig out all of this stuff to get access to these things which might be worth doing but we are we've got 11 of 12 now so what are the chances that if we expend all that effort and energy digging it out we'll get anything useful out of the rest of it so I'm I'm uh, he's only equipped with with fists here I'm gonna run to the exit here on my first night Pavel is back now in my first playthrough of this game I didn't leave anyone on guard the first night and so uh, what happened was uh, we got robbed So, so although I'd collected a load of stuff, it was less than what had been taken. There we go, interesting things. So, what I want to do, let's zoom out a bit, is give Pavel, give Pavel some uh, rest there. Uh, you can go crafting. Sorry, what did I want to build? I built one of them. Oh, that's it. I wanted to build a. I wanted to build a uh, shovel to help at clearing rubble out of the way. Let's make one of those. Let's. Um, can she go up and open that door? Locked. Yeah, the shovel has magically transformed itself. So can we make another shovel? Oh no, stop. You have to remember to select the character before you do anything. We can't make another shovel. Let's make a lock pick though. Someone come to the door. Let's go and see who he is. So uh, the first place with this was a guy who was just doing, he was just trading. So what I want to do is um, have her go and talk to him because she's got the bargaining skills. Have him dig out the pile of rubbish. That's what I'm going to do. In the meantime, I'll wake him up in a minute. So 
So what do we get? What have we got? What's that? A candomel. Herbal modifications. Quality roll-ups. Vegetables. So let's see if we can trade for the vegetables. What have we got? Weapons parts, gunpowder, mechanical parts, sugar. Let's see. Bargain for some food there. Let's get rid of that bloke then. Now, what I want to do is manufacture some um, food. break in there. Oh no, break in there. Sorry. Always doing that. through the stuff. Is there anything else we can make? A filter. Not really. Do we make any tools? I have. Well, let's make another lockpick because they're always handy. I am going to investigate the cupboards. So we'll see what we... Um, building up some good supplies there. sugar so we can build a uh, or I can build a still at some point and, um, and make some alcohol which will cheer everybody up let's see if he'll go to bed again so I can send him out Send him out in the evening. He's not moving fast though, is he? That took him 10 minutes to walk across that room. I think they do move more slowly as, as they get more tired. That is a... Uh, that is one of the features of... Uh, well... Well, I guess of all, we'll find some book stock. So we'll do one more night, and then I'll wrap up the video. Uh, I'm sure you've seen plenty, so we can go and loot the supermarket now. Look, caution advised. Shelled school. Pop 
possibly with homeless people. So, Bruno isn't tired, we can only carry 10 things. So, we'll, we'll send Bruno though. Go for it. We'll take the shovel with us. So we can dig through the rubble. And we'll keep an eye out for the homeless people. So in the school we can look through the keyhole. Looks clear. Let's go for it. Yeah, someone move around upstairs, look. see anything let's just open the door the door is boarded up it won't budge okay let's creep up the stairs then see if there is someone up there Good job we brought the shovel up. We're making a lot of noise. But we're digging through this rubbish. And hopefully there'll be some good loot on the other side of it. Because I'll need to make another shovel for one thing. slots we can't carry him in our stuff so let's run to the exit and get back safe before anyone else uh, interrupts us so that's the game as, as you can see it's it's intended to uh, you know not sugarcoat the horrors of war uh, on, on the third or fourth night, you do get the opportunity to go to the, the square with a lot of loot, but there's a sniper. So there's always that risk reward, risk reward type thing. Continue. So I'm going to, uh, first of all, she can get up. She's recovering though, but she's going to have to do some crafting. He can go to bed and you can go and make some tools so yeah it's quite an interesting game uh, more of an adult theme definitely not an action game by any any stretch of the imagination uh, right I'm going to build another shovel just because I don't want to be without one uh, what can I oh. I'll use all the wood for the shovel. Let's make a filter then. So yeah, it's an interesting game. It's slow paced, for sure. But uh, if you're looking for, for, for games to uh, make you think more, this is an excellent one to check out, especially with it being a... Uh, on a special deal until tomorrow at 6 o'clock in the steam sale at the minute. 
this war of mine, uh, native on Linux, and uh, yeah, quite interesting. <laughs>